Hello there, Project Pet here with a new follow-up video. In the last release I showed you how I made a small enclosure for my new monitor lizard, which I haven't showed yet. Before I show her and tell a few words about the species, I would like to tell a few things about the enclosure itself. First of all, everybody calm down, it's a temporary enclosure. A baby lizard feels more secure in a smaller enclosure in the beginning, and it's much easier to handle and take her out when I want to. As she grows, she will get into bigger and bigger enclosures. The setup is pretty simple. She has a basking ledge, a heat lamp, a UV lamp, a ceramic hide and a water bowl. For decorating my terrariums I use fake plants, living ones get destroyed pretty fast, especially by big monitors. The substrate I use is Zoomed's Reptifresh Sand, which eliminates odors and with its bigger particles provides a good base which does not fly everywhere when the animal digs like crazy. When I kept my first Argus back then, I used fine sand which I had to clean from all over my flat. Why sand? Well, these animals tend to get skin problems in young age caused by fungus. The breeder told me that if they are kept under drier conditions in the beginning, these infections can be avoided completely. When these monitors grow big, the sand can be changed to mulch without problems. So let's talk about the species, let's see what you get yourself into when you buy an Argus monitor. Argus monitors, or how people commonly call them yellow spotted monitors, live in the northern regions of Australia or in southern New Guinea. These lizards grow pretty big, so you need to be prepared to provide a large enclosure for even a single adult animal. Females stay smaller, that's why I ask the breeder to sex the lizard so I can pick a female. Trans elimination technique works fine on babies when checked properly. If you're interested in this technique, check out my Acumonitor care video where I explain this method. These lizards are pretty active, try to imagine an overgrown Aki. They are always moving around, searching for prey, reacting to every noise or movement around. That is why their enclosure must be big enough, which is an extreme challenge to provide when you have a full-grown Argus monitor. These lizards are real eating machines. If you want to keep a monitor with a strong feed response, the yellow spotted monitor is the perfect choice for you. They are born killers and agile hunters, even full-grown adults stay explosive, that is why you must be careful when feeding a fired up Argus. These animals are pretty high strung reptiles that don't like to be handled. If you want a puppy dog tame lizard, you should choose another species or be prepared to spend half of your time taming your lizard. Certain individuals can be more mellow, especially captive born and bred ones, that is why I chose mine from a respected breeder's clutch. But enough of the talk, let's see Sarah. Sarah, the baby Argus monitor has come to me with a size of less than 1 feet. She was adorable from the beginning, but she was also very shy and skittish. The first part of her life here wasn't that colorful to show. She spent most of her time in her hide, but she left only for basking a little or to eat. This period of her life I did not record, I've let her be and accommodate to her new life. Two weeks have passed until the ice broke a little. I'm going to be honest here, I always say that you shouldn't take your animal out from its enclosure, but this situation is a bit special, so I had to change the approach as well. I knew that this animal is going to be big, extremely skittish, and it needs to be socialized from very young age. I didn't have a choice, I had to take her out. It was pretty simple, I had to just leave the little hide and she was there. First, I just took the hide away for a few hours and let her get used to me moving around the room. I went closer and closer every time, stayed for a moment in front of the enclosure, then I left. When night came, I put the hide back for her. A few days later, she was comfortable with me being around, so I decided to start the handling. First, I tried to just put my hand into the enclosure, but that did not soften her at all. So I took her out with watching for being confident with my movements, but not to chase her around. If I couldn't take her out in half a minute, I left her and tried later until I managed to take her out smoothly. And then I realized how tame she was by default. She always made a fuss when I tried to get her out, but in 5 minutes she always calmed down.
This was the point when I laid back a little and could start to enjoy interacting with my lizard without the fear of her running away all the time. I can't say that she's calm when getting taken out, but for an Argus baby, her temper is really chilled and the whole situation is very promising. What do I do during these handling sessions? Well, I try to have the most physical contact possible without restricting her freedom too much, however, I have to watch her not to get spooked from my presence. When I take her out, there is a minute or two till she calms down. This time I keep her firmly but gently at the same time. When she calms down, I simply place her down and let her crawl around but always enforcing my will to her, guiding the lizard with my hands, lifting her up, making her get used to being touched. I like to offer her live insects while she is being outside. It's great to see her bolting after the prey, proving she's indeed settled down a little. These interacting sessions I do once or twice a day because it's really important to make the bond between us strong while she is so tiny. It's much better to take a bite from a baby than from a full-grown Argus, however, I have to tell you that these guys rarely bite out of aggression. The male I got before never ever has bitten me, the worst I got was a tail whip and constant hissing. Even though I found this species pretty low risk, I want to be sure that the trust between me and my monitor is at its peak when she grows big. I love big lizards and Sarah will be big, but now it's a blast to spend time with her already. She is really chilled for an Argus, personable and a crazy killer when it comes to feeding. You can't compare the species to any other, it's big but active as an Eki, really inquisitive and very very intelligent. If you let these guys move around, they will check out every inch of your place from bottom to top leaving nothing out. They recognize people and voices and curious about everything that's new to them. That is why it's very hard to keep them and reach in an enclosure if it's not very big. Exactly that's why I try to make her to be confident outside, I will let this gal free them a lot. Those who follow my channel know that I'm not hoarding animals, my reptiles well-being is my number one priority when it comes to my hobby. However, I have to say I really miss something new. The constant struggling with my savannah monitor's health took a lot from me and I craved for something positive, something refreshing. Well, this little monitor has certainly cheered me up because there is always something funny about this lizard. She never stops amusing me with her behavior and lets me to forget about the hardship that keeping a lot of pets can bring. Now you could ask why I speak so dramatic. Some of you might know that my savvy's been having some health issues and despite all effort, tragedy has struck when I did not expect. But leave this out from this video, we will talk about this later at some point. Back to my new monitor. What are my plans with this beautiful reptile? Nothing extraordinary really. First of all, I need to start preparing her new enclosure really soon because this little David grows like mushroom. I'm planning to house her in a 140cm long, 70cm deep and 50cm tall enclosure until she reaches her full size, but that will be in the far future. Breeding wise, I will do nothing. I don't have the space for a full grown male Argus and I have no intention of breeding the species anyways. All I want is to tame her down so I get a chilled, large bodied but hyperactive monitor. Because of the temper of the species I know it will be a hard task but I'm up for the challenge. Right now I'm really having a lot of fun and I hope it stays this way in the future as well. One thing I'd like to tell about Argus monitors before you go and buy yourself as well. This is a pretty high strung species and you can easily end up with an extremely skittish, large lizard which is huge, eats a lot and no matter what you do does not like to be handled. It can be the case with mine too, easily. I'm prepared for that, I kept one already so I know what I'm getting myself into. Well, this was a short update of my new monitor lizard, I hope you liked it because I'm planning to make more videos where I try to show the process of how I handle and tame her down. See you in the next video.